says 5.26 a.m. Nathan! It's your first video since LA. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm still here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's go. Oh, <laughs> we go. we have no time no to waste. Time to spare. Uh, we're so we're camp, westerly. So. The second we're time we've westerly. been to westerly. The second time we've done a video of westerly in the past six years. Yeah, it's been that long. We are riding as many or as as expensive a trip as possible in Connecticut today because all the buses are free for some kind of promotion the state is having due to the COVID restrictions being lifted. Right, so this is the first weekend that every bus in Connecticut is free, and we're gonna to try to charge the state of Connecticut as much money as possible. Ned Lamont, we're, we'll put the bill. For, for, our adventures for our adventures on this actually not as bad day as it was before. Miles, do you wanna film a little bit? How this is a surprisingly nice walk? That was my suggestion, and I started filming. Well. That was my suggestion, so too okay. bad. Well, then you, tell, then you tell me about it. Well, it's a surprisingly nice walk. We have <laughs> yes. this structure here with bricks. Yeah. We have this greenery here on the right. There's no sign to welcome us, but... We're entering, we're entering Connecticut. Connecticut. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that we are so energetic. We're such yes, great YouTubers. Yes. <laughs> also, uh, the sidewalk ends right when we enter Connecticut. So... We'll we can directly blame, what's shoulder. the governor's name again? Ned Lamont. Let's just keep blaming him for everything all day. Yeah, Ned. <laughs> Come on, Ned. Put a, put, a Put a sidewalk here in Stonington. I feel like now we're officially miserable as far as road conditions go. What's the governor's name again? Ned Lamont. Again, Ned. We've got to get a sidewalk on this road, man. Come on. Ethan, the bus is running early. <laughs> well, we're running early. We'll be okay, yeah. We're, we're, I think we only have to make up like about two minutes. Okay. <laughs> Look, there's a sidewalk. Ned, What's the governor's the name again? Walk. Ned. Oh yeah, thanks Ned. He listened. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> you made it, hopefully, unless the bus is yeah. out of there right now. That's where it's coming from. So we're just gonna fly it down over here. And hopefully the driver knows that it's free bus Saturday. Yeah, otherwise we'll have a lot of explaining to do. Here's the bus, we're gonna flag. All right, this is my first time on sea. I think yours Mine too, too, yeah. This is a $2 fare. So we saved charge. $2. We got $2 for that so far. Yeah, we're gonna have to pay for this one. Yeah. Casino looms. It's so big. All right, we're 13 minutes early at Foxwoods. We've been told that there's we no idea where, <laughs> well, at least he has no idea where the bus to Romantic Port, so we're yeah. gonna spend the next 15 to 20 minutes looking for that. Masks are not required. Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Ice sculpture. Update, it's plastic. Mm. Oh. It's is a it minibus. A nice, is it a nice minibus driver or a mean minibus driver? Oh my we gosh. We'll soon find out. I was not expecting a minibus. Hi. Where you guys going? Ah, uh, Willamantic. Yeah, you guys will be there. Fair free weekend? You did? Fair free weekend. It's a fair free weekend. weekend. The governor said, you know. Is today when it started? Yeah, today yeah. when it started. Oh, really? Wait, Memorial, Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend, fair free weekend. Yeah. I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Norwich Transportation Center. Um, and so now, now we're going to be leaving sea territory and heading into WRTD territory. Um, this is a uh, 275 fare. So we cost. What's the government name? Charge Ned. Ned. 475. <laughs> Also worth knowing these minibuses are really nice. Oh yeah, it hasn't been jiggly at all. And yeah. Holding together really well on yeah. the bus. It feels more like it can be said off. for yeah. a lot of minibuses. It's worth knowing that technically this system offers transfers um, from seat. Although, but if the driver didn't seem like he would 
have accepted it. Yeah, and it's the driver on seat didn't even know, know anything about this about the... WRTD. All right, we've walked down to the main street of Willimantic. Interesting mix of kind of rundown places, but then you've got not only juice, which seems like Hipsterville. Hey, so like something for later. What is that? A cupcake for later. Cupcake for later. There's definitely something happening here. Just don't quite know what. Yeah. yeah. Let's walk back to the bus so we don't miss it. All right, we've got a real bus for this trip, it looks like. This is a nice Excelsior. It still smells brand new. Yeah. The rear window, window is amazing. That's awesome. We are not adding to our fare total on this because it would have been a, a free transfer. WRTD transfer. Yeah. 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 Well, we're taking this to stores. S T O R R S. I thought it was S T O R R E S. <laughs> it's in some kind of mall that tried to be fancy. So we've got a driver change going on. Here, wherever we are. We're already five minutes late and uh, we have a zero minute connection in stores. I'm no, somehow we're doubting we're gonna make that. Meaning we'll just get to spend an hour and a half in, in the lovely town of stores. Deviating into a big Y. It's we're not making it. No. <laughs> Moving again. Big Y, big look. <laughs> Such a good one, Miles. The rear window is a little disappointing in the rain. Yeah, I was looking for a cool transitional shot, but not really getting that. Uh, so the CT Transit bus was five minutes late. If we hadn't, and we had were that, ten minutes late. If we hadn't had that driver change, we might have made it. Yeah, the very slow driver change. Yeah, it's like. So now we're stuck at stores for the next 75 minutes or so. We're at the Dog Eat Dog Cafe in Stores, Connecticut. <laughs> we are, we have, we have come here, we are sitting, and we are yes. momentarily staying until our C2 Transit bus is yes. uh, There goes the bus back to Willimantic. Um, yeah, so we're here for another hour or so. And this sets us back quite a lot, so we're kind of amending the plan on the spot to still try to spend as much money as possible. We're going to have to spend less time in Hartford and maybe more time in New Haven to make up for it. So we've somewhat formulated a plan, a tentative plan. We are going to eventually end up on a Metro North bus shuttle <laughs> to charge Ned even more money because we're assuming that it's going to be free. So this is downtown stores. It's a little like sterile suburban mall, isn't it? There's a lot like, of vacant storefronts too. It's yeah. Inviting. It's not very. It's there's not a lot of like personality that, either. I mean, it's. It's sort of like that place in Denver, except a lot. Oh, le uh, legacy place. Legacy yeah. place. Yeah. Like I guess I guess I'd rather this than like a, just a mall, but it's. Yeah. I don't know. It's a little soulless. Governor Lamont, we, we've got his number. <laughs> Call him. The transit center is closed, but I guess that's what it looks like. Not in service. Reclining seats. Oh, well, you picked like the, the most reclined one. And this is a $5 fare we're saving. We just upgraded our money costs to Ned. <laughs> Downtown Hartford. That was a lovely ride. That was great. There was one other person on the bus. We both slept. Uh, I just kind of went down the highway, deviating to a few parking rides. Just a lot of signs at this bird. <laughs> Where's the entrance? All right, we're at this <laughs> oppressive Burger King. Um, spending an hour here for lunch because we need to uh, offset our transfer from the previous bus because if right. we ride another bus for two hours mm -hmm. we would get a free transfer or a reduced fare transfer just a free just transfer, a free transfer. We're, and we're riding two express buses in a row so it would just be five dollars for both so we can't have that yeah, we need to pay another five dollars <laughs> then has to be charged another five dollars right we were going to check out union station but it's but been it's closed, closed for over a year 
looks like that. Temporarily, very temporarily. Okay, right, it's our, hard to see, but the 928 is imminently arriving. It's on time, which is good because we have a tight connection in Waterbury. Right on time on the 928. So the, what's special about this bus is that it runs down the CT fast track. But it doesn't make any stops. So that's so, like, it's like a BRT line that, um, that Hartford built. So we'll be on our own road for buses only. Running express. Like bypassing all the stops. Also, this is another $5 in our pocket. Uh, coming from Ned. out of Ned's pocket. Um, however, this does mean that we have now reached the price of an express bus day pass. So now if we ride any more CT Transit buses, it becomes free. Because we so that's why this is our last CT Transit bus. We're going to exactly. go to the North bus and then go down to Bridgeport. Figure out what to do from there. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Time to express. Very exciting. Okay, so this is New Britain. This is the last stop on the CT Fast Track. What are now your thoughts? Gonna... Oh, it's so amazing. It's... Yeah. I'm in Fomer heaven right now. <laughs> I mean, passing lanes, beautiful stations, some great electronic signage here. I mean... Yeah. More people need to it's... talk about this as an example of how to do BRT, right? There's something pretty about this. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I wait it almost feels like the out. Greyhound trip and we were heading off to Pennsylvania towards Pittsburgh. Yeah, exactly. Alright, Waterbury Station. There are people on the platform, which is not a great sign for our free bus. I know, if there's That's a train. One. What? The sign says track one. Oh no. Is there actually a train? Let's wait and see. Oh gosh. <laughs> they cancelled our bus and they gave us a substitute train service to Bridgeport. We're, we're so upset. Those terrible people. <laughs> at Metro North decided to give us a substitute train service instead of our bus service. So we're not leaving until 4.03 and we don't get to charge Lamont the three dollars. I know, we have to pay, actively pay, to ride this train. <laughs> Parting Waterbury, finally. So, for what it's worth, well, first of all, I wanted to ride the New Haven Nine Grand Signs anyway, so this is a plus. And it only runs on weekends, it's being substituted with bus service on weekdays and starting in about a week. Yeah. Full time. So it's kind of a rare opportunity to get a train. And, and on top of that, the ferry is only 275 um, all the way about an hour's ride to uh, Bridgeport. Right. Which also means that we're not losing that much in value by not taking the shuttle bus. Ned Although, got a little leg up, but not by that much. Exactly. Over. All right, Bridgeport. Here's our CL, totally wrapped. My glasses are fogged, but it's better than the dots. <laughs> Um, we are on the CL slash Coastal Link. Yep, this is our last bus of the day. Um, it runs from, uh, it runs a very long distance from... From uh, Norwalk uh, all the way basically to New Haven. Almost, only riding yeah. Tractor. And we have accumulated our total of 1650 mm -hmm. in value that Ned Lamont has given to us <laughs> for this trip. Yes. So thank you, Dr. Thank you Ned, for this glorious opportunity. We are forever in your debt by 1650. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we didn't have to deal with those dots for the entire CL. Miles was really irked by those dots. I always hate the dots. Now we're at Stratford. Uh, we're going to be taking Metro North Up to New Haven and then Amtrak home. Amtrak home, yeah. Ticket machine, other platform. <laughs> oh. So we're now on about a half hour journey to, uh, to New Haven, which costs $3.50, so $75, uh, 75 cents more than these. 
seventy-five dollars hour long. Hour long, hour long ticket. That'd be that'd be a little <laughs> insane for Lamont to do that. New Haven. Oh, I have to answer questions. Something else. X. An hour late, our train finally approaches to take us home. I realized that uh, Nathan and I forgot to film an outro, so um, yeah, so our final cost today that we charged to uh, the governor was uh, 1650. However, I open up a challenge. Uh, if you can do more than that in a day, then you should. Or just do less than that. Because honestly, it's kind of cool that all the buses are free on weekends. Uh, every weekend in the summer, you can go to Connecticut and ride every bus for free. And that's pretty cool. Uh, but it'd be especially fun if you try to do them all in one day and beat our uh, cash amount. Because you definitely can. We didn't get everything we wanted to. Um, so, collectively, we can charge the governor more money. And I wish Nathan was here, because I can't remember his name.